Yeah, you can moment here. Uh, it is 1.47 a.m. and we've just had our third big earthquake tonight and this one is different. It's uh, We had one at 105, one at 117. They were both magnitude 6 quakes but they were quite deep and so the shaking wasn't so much and it was side to side. But um, this is a big quake and the shaking is vertical things are bouncing so the building can't absorb the shock so everything is making noise it's easing back but this is a whole rash of quakes so it's quite freak I wish I could take something where I could show it shaking it was really shaking before it's quite scary actually the vertical shakes are the bad ones they do all the damage so hmm be interesting to see if this makes any news anyway it looks like it's uh, Around, even around here it's fairly big, although I'm fairly high up in the building that I'm in. So, hmm, interesting. Anyway, it looks like it's stopped now, so uh, everything's okay. I'll see, I'll turn this on again if uh, another one starts. Peace. Hey, I just turned on the um, NHK earthquake information. Uh, turns out that the quake, it's funny, we've had about, in the last two hours we've had about six feelable quakes. Um, this was a 6.7 uh, magnitude, which doesn't actually mean anything. Uh, it only reflects the energy that's within the earthquake, and if it's out in sea or if it's very deep, it doesn't actually signify anything about how big the shake is. Um, the 6.3 that we had earlier tonight was nothing. I mean, it was a 2 on the Japanese scale, which means that you can only notice in high buildings. But uh, this last one was a, a weak 5 on the Japanese shaking scale. And 5 is stuff getting seriously broken. Even in Tokyo it was a 4, and that's what I felt like here, um, which is enough to knock over light objects and make a lot of noise, which this building was doing. What was scary is that the shakes before were sideways, and buildings are designed to take sideways shaking, but uh, this last shake apparently was the same center as off Ibaraki. Uh, it was vertically shaking, and buildings can't absorb that, so that's when you start getting real damage. Um, doors getting jammed, people getting stuck in buildings, foundations getting broken. Um, Tokyo is a 4, so there shouldn't have been too much going on in terms of damage around here. When I say 4, it's a Japanese 4. Um, I should do a video on this scale sometime, actually, it makes much more sense. But if you're in Ibaraki and if you've had any damage or you're having any trouble, I, I hope you're all okay. And yeah, pretty freaky. So, But this being Japan, you know, I'm, I'm expecting everything should be pretty safe. But uh, everyone, be careful, be safe, peace.